Hello everybody, David here with TND Sports Cards. I would like to welcome you to our newest video. In today's episode, we are going to open some packs of 1978 Topps Baseball. I have been wanting actually to open a few of these uh, for a very long time. I do not own a at least to my knowledge, I don't own a Eddie Murray rookie card. And uh, that would be pretty awesome to find one in here. Uh, there are a slew of uh, big cards in this set. Um, as far as rookies goes, um, aside from the Murray, you have uh, Jack Morris, Lou Whitaker. Um, the other big one is the Paul Molitor and uh, Alan Trammell card that they actually share. Um, you got a uh, a really big uh, Nolan Ryan card in this set. I mean, there's like tons and tons of Hall of Famers that uh, have really nice cards in here. So uh, there'd be a lot that we could uh, potentially find. So uh, let's uh, get right to it and see what we can find. But I do have uh, vivid memories of collecting these cards and... Uh, I have a lot of them, but I never found an Eddie Murray. All right. So it doesn't appear that the gum will be an issue here. It was all broken up. Okay, so we have a Manny Sarmiento, Ray Knight. I have affinity for Ray Knight since he was with the Mets in 86. Uh, Tom House. Pat Dobson, Joe Kerrigan, who was eventually a manager, uh, especially with the Red Sox, I remember that. Don Zimmer, speaking of managers of the Red Sox. Baylor Moore, Ken Reitz, Vita Blue, that's a really nice one. I always liked Vita Blue, I was a big fan of his. I know he retired and then came back and he pitched for the Giants for a few years. I was kind of a character. This card is uh, very off-center, but it's still still nice. He's kind of a borderline Hall of Famer. Uh, Dennis Leonard, he was a dominant pitcher for about four years in the late 70s. Four or five years. He was really good. Steve Dunning. Woody Fryman, who I feel like pitched forever. Like even here he pitched forever. He pitched well into the 80s too. A checklist. Mariners team card with the King Dome in the background. That's nice. And Mike Ivey. All right, so nothing huge in that pack. Go on to our next one. All right, so we have Jim Todd, Lamar Johnson, Manny Sanguin, Marty Perez, Bob Nepper, Glenn Burke, Steve Carlton. There's our first Hall of Famer. This is uh, off center, kind of miscut the same way the Vita Blue one is. And there's the back of his card. All right, that's a good one. Eddie Solomon, George Mitterwald. Now these sets were all uh, just one of the biggest things was uh, was the just lack of centering. Centering was a major issue. That's why these cards have such high value. And we got a rookie pitcher's card, but not the one we were looking for. No Jack Morris on that one. Got a Rangers team card. Eric Soderholm and Paul Mitchell. Uh, I can't tell if that's airbrushed. It looks like it might be. It's hard to say. Some of these cards in this set with the airbrushing is really kind of ridiculous looking in my opinion. They just, uh, there's one particular card. I actually opened the, uh, a uh, Christmas pack of these uh, sometime early last year 
and I, I think it was Greg Minton that I pulled out, and, the, and his car his card looked like a like just like a painted portrait. It didn't even look like a picture. All right, so we have rookie first baseman. Nothing big on that one. Ed Herman or Herman, Danny Ozark, Fran Healy, who. I don't mean to pick on him, but he was the most annoying announcer I think I ever heard. He did Mets games for a while, actually. He was doing Mets and Yankees on Sports Channel in the late 80s. And when the Yankees left Sports Channel and went to uh, Madison Square Garden Network, Fran Healy stayed with the Mets, I think, up until SNY came on, on air, which was in 05. And thankfully, they didn't bring him along. Nothing personal against him. I just couldn't stand him as an announcer. So just a little footnote there. All right, Rob Sperring. Cecil Cooper. He was good. Rick Cerrone, who went on to have at least one big year with the Yankees. Mike Jorgensen did play for the Mets. Was that before this? He must have come back to the Mets because I remember him playing with the Mets in the 70s, like around 1980. Uh, Larry Bittner, Tony Armas, he was a big uh, big home run hitter. And speaking of big hits, I think we found one of our big hits right behind this one. This was right at the beginning of his career. That's actually his rookie card. It's way off center. And here, speaking of rookie cards, we got ourselves a Jack Morris. That's really nice. And this card isn't too bad centering. I mean, for, for cards in this set, I mean, it is off. It's definitely off left to right. And uh, this card also has Larry Anderson, who was uh, part of a famous trade. Um, obviously not being any fault of his own, but he was actually traded for... Um, uh, What's his name with the Astros? I'm drawing a blank who's in the Hall of Fame now. Not Craig Biggio. Uh, Jeff Bagwell. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but this is a really nice looking card. It is really sharp. I'll hold it up to the light a little here with the surface. The surface looks quite good. Corners look nice. The 78 seemed to have a little bit of that rough cut on the edge. But uh, that's a really nice card super nice card i'm pleased with that okay so we have an indians team card here i know some of these team cards had some high value in this set too i know the yankees one does probably i'm sure because of uh just the uh being miscut i mean we've seen a lot of miscut cards in uh in this opening uh alone the few minutes we've been doing this here uh butch weiniger now see this card looks Pretty good. I mean, it's off slightly, I guess, top to bottom. The um, the sides look pretty good, though. You know, the back's off a little. It's on an angle, but that one's actually centered pretty decently. And uh, our last one is uh, Dick Williams, who uh, definitely uh, managed for an extremely long time. All right, so we had a few nice ones here. We had the Vita Blue, which um, I have to just say is my own personal interest. I just was really a fan of his, and I don't think I have this card. So that's uh, that's a nice find. We got a Steve Carlton, which is, uh, again, it's got that, that rough cut on the edge, and it's uh, badly off-center. But uh, nonetheless, it is a Steve Carlton. And then our big card of the video... Out of these packs is uh, Jack Morris, so that's uh, that's really nice. Glad we were able to find that and uh, share that with you guys. So um, we have uh, we have a busy week coming up ahead. Well, at least we have a couple more videos. On uh, this Thursday, we're going to open uh, some packs from '87 football, '87 uh, Tops football. Uh, which actually, I guess at 87, it was still only Tops uh, producing uh, football cards at that point. And um, on Saturday, we're, for our weekend way back, we'll, um, we'll go back to 1982 and do some uh, baseball 
football and hockey cards from that year um, since there were no uh, basketball, at least no regular issue basketball cards at that point. Um, so we look forward to bringing those to you. And uh, then, of course, we'll have our, uh, our modern Monday following that. And uh, uh, you know, we'll look forward to bringing all those to you. So I want to thank everybody for their support. Uh, please continue to watch. And uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And uh, we'll see you guys on Thursday. All right. Have a good week. Stay safe.